Linda. Oh my God! Why do you guys have so many toilets? We're homosexual. Sorry. <laughs> Attention. Attention now, please. Thank you. Imagine being like gay or something like that. Kevin, we've been sleeping together for like eight months. Okay, but that's not like gay, gay, you know? Kevin, you're literally a bottom. Kevin, you need a bush. Imagine being like gay or something like that. Kevin, we've been sleeping together for like eight months. Okay, but that's not like gay, gay, you know? Kevin, you're literally a bottom. Kevin, you need a Drugs. No face, no case. That I hit the first night, first day. Put that thing all on my face. Do what I say, what I say. No Instagram. Big, 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 Baby, what's your name? What's your sign? Tell me what's your age? What's your type? I'll fill you up for you. You look gay. 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 Wait, stop the motherfucking music. You, are you dumb?
Alec and I met in 2013 when our mutual friend Brian introduced us at Alec's birthday party and we became inseparable the rest of the night. I was the first guy Alec ever kissed in public. We went on a few dates and became boyfriends in just a few weeks. Alec got into medical school shortly after we started dating and he now works as an OBGYN doctor. We love to travel together, especially anywhere with a beach or water. We don't see a lot of each other with his schedule these days, but love to goof around and go on adventures, even little ones, whenever we get the chance. We added a new member of our family in 2018, Riley, our cat. In 2019, I proposed to Alec in a bamboo forest in Japan. He said yes, and we spent the rest of the year planning our wedding and getting ready to be husbands. In the meantime, Alec graduated medical school and we got used to being engaged during residency. Unfortunately, we had to postpone our wedding for a year due to the coronavirus, but we still wanted to get married this year. So we wrote some vows, threw on some suits, and had a socially distanced wedding ceremony with just our immediate families, everyone standing six feet apart. It's weird not being able to hug your parents, and it wasn't what we planned, but it was still perfect. Hi, yes, hold on one second. What do you want, kid? Chicken nuggies? They don't, we don't have that here. Sprite? What, what fucking Starbucks? Hi, yeah, sorry. Could I get two grande cloud macchiatos and... I'm sorry, hold on. What? A cold brew? What? Start them young, I guess. Okay, yeah, could I get one grande cloud macchiato and one grande cold brew and... I'm sorry, hold on. What? No, we're not getting cake pops. Daddy missed Pilates. Okay, daddy can be bad, I guess. Okay, and five cake pops. E okay, you're out of cold, out of cold brew. What do you, iced coffee? Do I sound like someone who gives my kid brown water? Okay, they're out of, they're out of cold brew. What do you want? Milk? What, is this your father's doing? I'm the dumbest person on the whole planet, and I'm going to die alone. I'll tell you how. So there's two Brads. Brad number one is a friend, like casual friend. And then the other Brad is a really nice boy that I met in a class and asked him on a date. And he said yes, and it was great, whatever. So you go on a date Saturday. Saturday night, I text him saying, hey, I had a great time. I'd love to see you again. Just trying to be polite and nice, whatever. I think he completely ignores me. And I thought he ignored me until today. So basically, there's another Brad, the casual friend Brad. And he usually texts me if he wants to, like, hang out. And so I thought that when Brad number two texted me, it was Brad number one. And I have both their names in my phone is the exact same thing. So I sent the nice PG boy who I went on one date with a bunch of ho texts and probably fucking traumatized him. So that's wonderful. And then he won't talk to me. He didn't answer my text, which is like, fine. He doesn't owe me anything. And I just feel like a complete idiot. And I definitely am dying alone. And yeah, I'm a fucking horrible garbage can can't date idiot. So awesome. Yay.